years ago, our community came together. Right here in Osceola County, the Sunday before the election in 2008, and we heard from the man from a place called Hope. At that time, eight years ago, our country was grappling with an economic freefall as thousands of our families here in Central Florida lost their jobs and their homes as we faced the Great Recession. And in that moment, our community here in Osceola came together and spoke with one voice and one heart. And we elected our president, Barack Obama. In these last eight years, our economy has recovered as we have begun to prosper once again, as we evolve our manufacturing, high tech, and small businesses across this country. But so much more happened along this journey. In 2008, I was running for my first re-election to the Florida House. And I love you, Carlos. And in 2008, in this election day, with your help, I will make history as the first Puerto Rican from Florida elected to the United States Congress. We also saw the nomination of one of our own, a Boricua, a Latina, nominated to the highest court in the land, our United States Supreme Court Justice, Sonia Sotomayor. Let me hear you. We also saw the DACA and DAPA programs established so that our dreamers, children brought here to this country through no fault of their own, could take part in the American dream. If you want to thank our President Barack Obama and fight for our dreamers, let me hear ya! We saw the landmark Affordable Care Act providing, providing more than two million more Floridians with health care, many of them right here in Central Florida. If you want to thank our President Barack Obama, let me hear ya! protect our Everglades, our springs right here at home. And we finally embarked down the road to fight global warming. If you believe in science, let me hear you. And with our president and Supreme Court leading the way, we have become a more perfect and more equal union by allowing all Americans to marry those who they love. If you believe in equality, let me hear you. And now we are at a crossroads once again. The time has come to pass the torch of progress to our Democratic nominee, Hillary Rodham Clinton. We need to continue down the path of economic prosperity, increase the minimum wage here in Central Florida, and help our brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico as well. You believe we still need to move forward? Let me hear you. We also need help for our young people, for our students, to reduce tuition and to tackle rising student loan debt. We also need to come together in a government that works to improve our nation's infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, and our ports. If you believe the greatest country in the world should have a world-class infrastructure and a world-class quality of life, let me hear ya! We also need to build upon the progress of Obamacare to create greater access to high quality health care. If you believe health care is a right in the greatest nation in the world, let me hear you. We also need to continue to protect equality for all Americans. 
regardless of race, religion, sex, or sexual orientation. If you believe equality is the way of life here in America, let me hear you. We also need to continue the path forward by fighting for comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway to citizenship. It's time for our immigrant families to be able to come out of the shadows, to be able to participate in the American dream, and join all of us. Do you think we need to fight for immigrants? Let me hear you, everyone. We also face a great challenge to make sure to protect Social Security and Medicare for our seniors who fought to build this country into the greatest nation in the world and to make sure that it will be available for future generations. If you stand with our seniors, let me hear you. We must also avoid costly and unnecessary wars and take care of our servicemen and women on the battlefield to make sure they know that they fought for our freedom and we care about them. And we need to ensure our veterans are welcome home with open arms and have the resources they need to continue as productive members of society. If you care about our veterans, if you believe freedom isn't free, you're going to stand by and let me hear you. I trust the mom, a first lady, a United States Senator, a Secretary of State, and the most experienced woman for the job of president to get it done. If you support Hillary Rodham Clinton, let me hear some noise. she cannot do it alone. Our community must rise once again and speak with one heart and one voice and your vote to elect her to the White House. Because we cannot go back. We stand here today to say we will not be divided, we will not be deported, we will not be limited by glass ceilings, and we will love who we want to love. If you agree, let me Because here in Central Florida and throughout our country, our diversity is our biggest strength. For we are all equal members of one great family, an American family, and we are stronger together. So once again, we must go out and vote to protect the progress we have made and empower our families, our community, our nation to continue to strive for a bright future for all of us. So please don't forget, today is the last day of early voting here in Osceola County. If you voted already, raise your hand. If you haven't, now is the time. And who's going to volunteer until Election Day? Raise your hand. Fight until the last day, until the last and on election day, we here in Central Florida will change the world once again.